So before we wrap up this class, I wanted to show you a wall hanging that I did and share some of the elements that you may feel free to copy if you'd like or just to get inspired. For the corners, I just used some velvet similar to the background, the border velvet, and just cut out a five petaled flower for like a little violet and then used velvet leaves which I also cut out of silk velvet and I just made a simple ribbon stitch using the um, 13 millimeter silk ribbon and I put several dragonflies on it and these dragonflies all I did was cut out four pieces of organza shaped as dragonfly wings but before I cut them off before I cut them out I applied a fusible web to the back of them and I just ironed them on and then I used the feather stitch and started at the tip of each wing and went toward the body and did feather stitches put a little bit of uh, and added legs using the fine thread that we used for the spider and a couple of beads and um, bugle beads for the body and I used um, acrylic paint, the Lumiere fabric paint, and actually painted this lace because I wanted to bring out the butterfly. I just thought that was so pretty and the name of the quilt is Life Within a Garden which I made to honor my late father who loved gardening and inspired me to um, create an English type flower garden. So I sat in the garden and worked on this quilt for many many hours. And here I did a Russian punch needle pansy and this is just an applique which I added beads to. I had dyed it and just added pink beads to the bottom and a few lime beads. Here's another dragonfly and I just used the French knots as to simulate um, wisteria. So I love wisteria. And I added the vintage rosemontes along this lace. Just give it a little sparkle and a charm, a little bee charm on this applique, basket applique, and this just did a few silk ribbon flowers in that, and sequins, and here's one of the little bees that I just showed you how to do, and they're sprinkled throughout here. And on this corner, I use Lemire paint and I painted the dragonfly wings and then I used the Krynik iron-on thread and outlined it and I beaded the body, add Swarovski crystals for eyes and the little stippling is actual, actually the tiny micro bugle beads that took a long time to finish, but I, I love the effect. And here a little owl charm is tucked away on a branch. And a, another charm, like the charms that we painted, but this one was purchased. And I probably could have bought several of them and painted them for the price of that. <laughs> 
And this is a fringe wired ribbon pansy. Some vintage um, elements as well as the little crystal sew-ons. And the little birds in the nest, I did paint them myself. Some more silk ribbon embroidery. You can just add little clusters. And here is the baby's breath design that you learned. And these flowers were made, I took silk and just ripped it and dyed the edges of it and use it as silk ribbon. But you can also use the Hannah Bias silk ribbon and after a while the edges will fray and you could, or you can just pull it through your fingers and the edges will fray and you can get the similar effect. And another little um, vintage millinery violet. And these are just lazy Lazy Daisies with the twisted end, a tiny little uh, ladybug charm, and I took the um, wire, the French wired ribbon, and just gathered it to make it l like a fuchsia, and used the real stamens, tucked them under there, and secured them and the silk ribbon embroidery hummingbird and my piece of a doily I took apart it had a bunch of daisies I'm sorry it had a bunch of um, pansies on it and these are just um, the Japanese ribbon stitch flowers and some Fargo roses and I took a wide Hannah silk ribbon, the bias cut silk ribbon, and I just folded it on itself to create a fan, put a little, little ruffle of lace up there, and a cluster of flowers. And here's a little crystal spider hanging from his web. And this is what started the whole quilt, was the porcelain wings that I found online several years ago. Since then she's gone out of business but I found a new source and it's in it'll be in the uh, in a PDF at the end of class and you can um, go to her and see what all she's got. It's just she's got some really pretty things including mermaids. And this is a Swarovski butterfly that someone had made me and another dragonfly hidden and a cluster of the French wired ribbon a um, couple pansies and around the odd uh, around the odd border I put um, what they call snail's trail which is just several different beads in rows and you just go up and down and you know like a snail they just kind of weave an odd path and this is just some crystals on an applique same here Some decorative stitches using the Krynik metallic threads. They've got some beautiful threads. And some more Japanese stitch flowers. Some more bouquets. And this is just an image. And I used alcohol ink to color the background of just a pastel purple. And just other trims and some vintage sequins. Another spider. Oops. You can imagine this quilt is kind of heavy. 
with all the embellishments. And here's a little row of different colored um, violets. And a little cluster on a vintage doily that was dyed. And I did a stump work dragonfly, but decided to tack down his wings, which are beaded, because this was being sent off for the $100,000 quilting contest, and it won for the crazy quilt category. And here are some little beaded flowers that kind of remind me of lavender. Another cluster made with the French wired ribbon and the real stamens. And this is the wired ribbon and these are the silk ribbon embroidery. And here are the, the three of the hydrangeas and some baby's breath. And you just kind of do some odd flowers and I did the bullion stitch. And I did another um, tree with the Russian punch needle. Added a couple birds and some silk ribbon leaves. Clustered some flowers around it. And a little porcelain bluebird. I used Angelina fiber and a rubber stamp to create this um, leaf. And then I added the metallic fine thread to outline it, the veins. And I put on a dragonfly charm, which I painted. Another vintage tatted doily. And my peacock, which is just stitched with Krynic threads. And I added Swarovski crystals for his tail. And another dragonfly in this corner. And that's the same. That also has it's the pink organza, the sparkle organza, which gives it a nice, a nice little sheen to its wings. And on this lace that I dyed, I just beaded the tip of each part of the lace and put a basket of a few flowers in the corner. And there's another little bee. And I took um, a vintage ribbon and just twisted it, folded it up on itself, and just added beads and, and some silk ribbon embroidery and some charms just to make something different. And another way you can use your silk ribbon embroidery is to put, after you make your flower with the regular silk ribbon, you can go over it with either the same color or contrasting color of the organza ribbon. There's more clusters of the hydrangea and another dragonfly and just a, a simple little swag, a little floral swag. And that's about it. There's a, some foxglove just with silk ribbon embroidery and another bee and just some beading. And that, I believe, is all. That should, that should do it. Oh, I, I did um, this topiary. I used an applique a piece that I actually cut out of an applique and I put little pansy silk ribbon embroidered flowers here and I used a, a thin gimp for the stalk 
and the tree is the um, Russian punch needle with the Fargo roses and a little bird bee. And that's it. That's Life Within a Garden. And it was really fun to work on, very pleasurable. Oh, and here's a um, some of the little uh, irises. The little irises, and I. For the Lazy Daisy part of the iris, I added, I used the silk ribbon, and for the petals, I used a lighter color of organza ribbon. And this is just fiber to emulate grass, and a vintage lead rabbit is tucked in there, hidden. Because that's, that's what's fun about crazy quilting is that you can tuck away little elements and when the people are viewing it they always find something else. There's always something else to be found in a crazy quilt. So I hope you enjoyed the class and I hope you got all your, ans your answers, your, all of your questions answered and um, Maybe I will see you in the next class where we, will, where we will be making an accessory case, a little accessory purse, and attaching a clasp. Until then, blissful stitching!